Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 218. That is, what are the different cases, that is scenarios for verifying the email address? Let me answer. First of all, I'll show you a website where you see there is a register account page and here we have an email address field. So how to verify this email address field, okay? So in order to test this email address field or validate or verify this email address field, we have to provide a different combinations of email address. Some email address may be valid, some email address may be invalid. And finally, this email address field should accept the email addresses which are valid, okay? And should not accept the email address which are invalid. Okay, but there is a very big list for that. Okay, very che very big checklist for that. So maintaining that checklist or uh, writing down that checklist is very difficult for me here. So instead, I suggest a simple uh, add-on. You can say Chrome browsers add-on or tool. You can say that uh, name is Bug Magnet. Okay, if you use this simple tool known as Bug Magnet, everything will be clear for you. Okay, by default in Chrome browser, you will not get this add-on or extension. Okay. So we have to separately install this bug magnet. After we install the bug magnet, you will come across all the checklist or uh, scenarios or cases uh, using which we can verify this particular email address field with different combinations of email addresses, okay? So for that guys, let me install this uh, bug magnet. So simply I'll click on new tab and uh, search for bug magnet here, bug magnet, okay? Just simple Google search. In the search results, you'll get the Chrome extension, chrome.google.com bug magnet. Just click on this bug magnet. It will be like this. The symbol will be like magnet. Okay, now click on add to Chrome. Select add extension. In a while, the bug magnet will be installed. You see it got added to the Chrome browser. Okay, fine. So let me click on this and say plus here. That's it. Okay, bug magnet got added guys. So close this. Now, if you want, you can uh, uh, restart the browser once, okay? You can restart the browser once and open the same application. Go to the register account page where the email address field is there, okay? Now let's uh, verify, okay? This email address with different combinations of valid and invalid email address, as I mentioned, and that will be the help of bug magnet we are going to use. This is enabled here. So right click here, okay, when you right click on this email address field, you'll get this bug magnet option and here you're getting email addresses, a set of valid email addresses, a set of invalid email addresses. Let's see a one by one checklist. This is the checklist of the valid and invalid email address. Okay, if in the interviews, if they are asking you like how you validate or verify uh, the different scenarios for checking this uh, email address field is accepting the proper or valid email address or not, then you can simply say that uh, you use an add-on known as bug magnet or if you remember this checklist items you can mention this list of checklist items that i'm going to showcase now okay very simple first one is valid guys okay let's uh, right click on the email address field bug magnet and say email address and say valid simple one simple one you know simple one right abc at the red def dot com kind of thing okay click on that simple one you see it got inserted automatically okay email at the red domain dot com which is the simple one Click on continue. You see there is no warning message coming here. That means it has been accepted. Fine, this is a valid one, okay? The simple one. Uh, let's go with another one. Let's keep on checking uh, one by one, okay? Uh, if there is some dot in the email address, okay? So the simple one, uh, abc at the red df.com was there. In abc, there is no dot. No dot will come. First name dot, last name. You see dot is here in between, okay? Will it accept? It is a valid? Yes, it is a valid one. It should accept. Continue. You should not get any warning message and email address field should accept. Done. Now let's go with the next one. With dot also we completed. We verified the email address with the valid email address, simple valid email address and with the dot containing valid email address. Now subdomain. That means after at the rate, uh, okay, at the rate something dot com will be there, right? At the rate something dot something dot com will be there. Subdomain. That is called subdomain. Okay. You see? Email at the rate something dot something dot com. Okay, subdomain dot domain dot com. Okay, here dot is after at the rate symbol and it is also a valid one. Okay, it should be accepted. 
then it is also accepted no warning message for this field this is another uh, valid email address you can say let's go with the next one email address valid plus what if you have the plus symbol in the email address okay it should be accepted or not it should be accepted okay here you have plus symbol okay and it should be accepted done is another email address uh, let's insert another one email address valid some numbers in the email address okay till now only alphabets right alphabets we are saying uh, email address can have alpha numeric okay so it can be alpha or numeric okay numerical values can be there email at the rate you see here a lot of subdomains are there one two three dot one two three dot one two three dot one two three it should be accepted but it's not unfortunately it's not getting accepted you can report a defect for this okay this application is not accepting a valid email address email address valid uh, numerical domain it's not accepting guys okay this application is not up to the mark and uh, it's not accepting a numerical email address uh, so you can report a defect for that okay square bracket around ip address what if there is a square bracket around ip address you see this square bracket is there okay so let's see uh, as part of following at the rate should not contain simple okay this is also valid but it's not accepting another so the, the list of valid email addresses that are not being accepted by this email address field you can report a single defect then email address valid unnecessary codes around uh, this is also valid guys uh, let's see whether it will be accepted it is also not accepted again this is also another email address that should be accepted but it's not getting accepted double quotes are there which are not accepted it should be accepted but uh, then what is the next one necessary quotes around email address okay here double quotes are there here when you have double dots so you should have double quotes here guys okay it's necessary and it's a valid email address uh, sorry control z uh, let's uh, click on continue you see it's not accepting but it is a defect okay you can report a defect then next one valid uh, numerical address uh, alpha numeric right uh, you see this should be accepted numbers are there it should be accepted you see it got accepted properly without any problem if there are any numbers before that is a red symbol they can be accepted then another valid uh, item can be dash if you have dash in the you see here after the it's the rate if you have dash it should be accepted it's, it's valid it should be accepted it's accepting no problem and then next one lot of uh, checklist items are there right uh, uh, underscore if you have underscore here okay it should be accepted accepted done the next one Bug magnet email address valid uh, so underscore greater than three care tld okay here this this part okay it should be greater than three three characters okay it should be accepted accepted fine the next one email address valid two character tld here two character tld is there co or jp two characters are there it should be accepted this many varieties of email address you can check guys okay the list goes on since the question since the interview question is clearly asking us whatever you remember you you mentioned in the interviews guys okay i'm I, i'm giving the complete list but uh, it doesn't mean that uh, you have to answer all the, you have to give all the explanations right so how many you remember from this list you can answer in the interviews okay so but you can even mention that uh, you you use a tool known as bug magnet which gives you a list of all valid and invalid email address and give the examples okay few examples that you remember from this list. dash in the address if there is a dash in the address it should be accepted plus in the address dot in the address dot in the address everything should be accepted next one what is the next one let's explore uh intranet okay if there is an intranet kind of email address it also should be accepted but uh, let's see whether it is accepting or not it's not accepting here but it should accept uh then because it is coming into the valid category here right it is not accepting so you can report a defect non ascii email okay non ascii characters also should be accepted but if it is not accepted you can again report a defect for this all all the list of email address which are valid but still not accepted by the application you can report them okay fine so then uh, invalid email addresses uh, if you don't provide at the rate symbol here okay you see normal plain address is there at the rate something.com is not missing so you should get a proper validation message okay this is how you validate or verify 
uh, please include at the rate in the email address. Plain address is missing and at the rate. This is correct only, okay? So the proper validation message is coming or not, you have to check. Then if you are missing at the rate symbol, then in another email, uh, no at the rate symbol or domain. Here only at the rate symbol is missing. Domain is there, but at the rate symbol is missing. The previous example, both at the rate and domain were missing. Here only at the rate symbol was missing, okay, is missing. So here clearly it's saying that at the rate is missing, okay. Email dot example also is coming, you see, the proper validation email dot domain dot com is missing and at the rate symbol is coming, fine. Now next one, invalid email address, uh, next example, uh, missing address. So here uh, before at the rate, nothing is there, okay. Something should be there before at the rate, but uh, what will happen? Please enter a part followed uh, by at the rate domain, at the rate domain is incomplete, okay. So here they are saying, uh, please enter a part followed by at the rate, okay. Part followed by, not a part, part preceding the, which comes before at the rate, but not after, okay. There is a mistake in the validation. You can report the defect, you see, by checking this many things, uh, you are getting a lot of defects with the email address, right. So this is also a defect actually. So part uh, which is coming before the at the rate is missing, it has to say, but after the at the rate it is saying. So garbage, if you give garbage, what will happen? Some at the rates, at the rates are there here and there. A part following at the rate should not contain the symbol percentile. Percentile should not be there, it is saying. So that's fine. Then uh, garbage is not being accepted. Uh, another invalid. Copy paste from address book. When you copy paste from address book, this kind of email address will come, right? So uh, actually this part is the email address, but along with that, you will get the name because, so a part, uh, it should not be considered, okay? It should not be, it is an invalid anyhow. It's another checklist item. Sometimes it happens where the user will try to copy paste the email address from the address book and uh, ultimately the name along with the email format will come and that should not be accepted actually. That is a good case. Super, uh, superfluous text, uh, you see in the circular bracket, something is there, this one format should not contain the symbol, single quotes, uh, some kind of message is coming, which is irrelevant, but uh, okay, proper validation message should come anyhow. It's not accepted, but a uh, proper validation message should come. Uh, if you have at the rate symbols twice, okay, a part uh, should not contain another at the rate symbol, uh, a proper validation message is coming, that's okay, it's working fine. Invalid email address that is uh, then uh, to where the rates is done. Leading dot in the address, okay? So before you see dot, it is starting with the dot. Email address does not appear to be valid, that's okay, okay? Instead of giving a proper validation message, it's uh, at least saying that it's not a valid, that's okay. It's not suggesting why, why it's uh, invalid, but it's okay. Uh, just because dot is in the beginning, it's, uh, Trailing dot in the address, trailing dot in the address. Uh, you see here at, before the at the rate symbol dot is there. It's also simply saying it's not appear to be valid. That's okay. Then uh, what else is there? Trailing dot is done, leading dot is done, multiple dots. If you have multiple dots, okay. Multiple dots also invalid, okay. You should not have multiple dots continuous. Continuous multiple dots should not be there. That is invalid email address. You can, you can whatever the, cases you remember, right, uh, for the invalid and valid email addresses, you just mention in the interviews when they ask, okay. Unicode cares in the, you see this kind of Unicode characters, if you have, okay, should not contain the symbols, it is saying that's fine, it's not accepting and giving a proper message, that's okay. Uh, then uh, leading dash in domain, in domain, if there is a leading dash, then Please enter an in email. Please enter an email address is coming, but it's not giving it. It's not a proper message, guys. But uh, you see, so, so still improvement is there. Then uh, leading dot in domain. What if there is a dot uh, before the domain? Dot is used at a wrong. This kind of thing should come for uh, the previous one also, but uh, that was not coming. Okay, so we can we can report the defect. Okay. You see a lot of defects you are getting, right? Uh, by verifying the email address in, in this kind of depth level, if you are verifying a lot, uh, uh, lot of defects you are getting, okay? This tool is very beautiful tool. So you don't have to remember all these checklist items. It's simply giving you invalid IP format. Uh, if you give invalid IP format and click on continue, email address does not appear to be valid, that's fine. 
then next one email address invalid last one guys last checklist item multiple dots in the domain if there are multiple dots dot dot com okay instead of dot com dot dot com dot is used at a wrong position in domain dot com that's okay the validation message is proper double dots are there so it's not accepting so hope guys uh, you got the list of uh, uh, different cases okay uh, using which we can verify the email address okay email if you come across any email address field across the application anywhere uh, you can follow this checklist guys uh, to identify as many number of defects as possible okay and uh, as i mentioned bug magnet is one of such kind of tools uh, which is very helpful and handy okay so you can use this tool and uh, using the checklist given by the tool you can identify lot of defects in the email address field okay while while verifying the email address field so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye